Yo, what's going on, sports people? Check this out. Um, you know who this is, and um, check it. I know I'm a little late this week. I usually come out on Mondays with my review, um, but I decided to change it up because what I want to do is I want to start waiting until they release the top 25 so I can talk about some, you know, some of the moves up, down, in, or out. You know, we had a couple upsets over last weekend, and you know, let me, the first one I want to talk about is you know number three Oregon going down to Stanford, and you know Oregon was ranked number three. After the loss, they, you know, they got bumped, you know, they got bumped down to number eight, which is still amazing to me. They shouldn't be in, they shouldn't even be in the top 10. Um, speaking of 10, <laughs> the number 10 team, Florida, you know, lost 20 to 13 to Kentucky of all people. And I think Kentucky got ranked after that win. So, you know, hey, don't know where Florida is on that, you know, on that scale. But, you know, if they're out of it, they deserve it. Also. Um, Mississippi State took down number 15, Texas A&M. And that kind of upset me a little bit for A&M because I was looking forward to them being undefeated going into, you know, the matchup this weekend, you know, the primetime matchup with Alabama. Um, that's definitely going to be one to watch. But um, here's the real reason what I wanted to talk about today. Um, we got the Red River Shootout coming up this weekend, Texas, Oklahoma. And I'll tell you what. If there's, you know, for both of these schools, this is definitely going to be a prove-it game because, you know, Oklahoma's been struggling. You know, they're, they're having a quarterback controversy. You know, Spencer Rattler's the starter. And, you know, the last couple of games you've been hearing, you know, you've been hearing the fans in the stands chanting for the backup. So Spencer Rattler's got to come in this week and prove, you know, he deserves to be the starter. He needs to prove that, you know, needs to prove he's worth all that talk, you know, because he was the, you know, he was the Heisman favorite going into the season. So, you know, this is definitely going to be a proven game for, for, um, for Oklahoma. Texas, on the other hand. Yeah, I know Texas seems to be riding a little bit high. You know, they, you know, they, they beat TCU last week and I'm going to say they kind of squeaked by, you know, they didn't blow them out, but, um, you know, yeah, Texas kind of riding high because they seem to have found the answer at quarterback. Um, Casey Thompson, you know, he seems, you know, seems to be the guy they needed. And that breakout performance from that game last week was definitely the running back, B. John Robinson. I mean, that guy, you know, ran the ball for over 200 yards against TCU's defense. And everybody knows TCU has one of the best defenses in the Big 12. So here's what I got to say to Texas. I mean, after all the chirping you guys have been doing, you know, after all the chirping the fan base has been doing on Facebook and, you know, all these other social media platforms, <laughs> I swear to God, you know, you Longhorn fans are starting to kind of be like, you know, these obnoxious Dallas Cowboy fans. But um, I tell you what, this is definitely going to be a statement for Texas to come in and win this game because, you know, you want to prove that, you know, every week we got to answer that question, oh, Texas is back, is Texas back? Well, you know, you got ranked. I think Texas is ranked number 21 this week. Um, I tell you what, you got a chance to move up. If you can if you can win this game, that would be very impressive to win against a tough TCU team followed up, you know, with a relatively, you know, your nemesis, Oklahoma. You know what I mean? It would be a it would be a hell of a win, a hell of a statement. So all I'm gonna say is hey Texas, good luck. Um I hope <laughs> I know the fan base is, you know, like I said, you know, Texas, Oklahoma, those, those people get together and it's going to be rowdy. So I'll tell you what, I would love to be in Dallas this weekend for that matchup. But unfortunately, you know, I'm here. Um, check it, folks. That's all. Well, hold on. One more thing. I want to start doing some early draft prospects. And right now, you know, I've been kind of watching some of, you know, some of the, you know, some of the other games, you know, going on this week. And um, right now. They came out with an early draft pro an early draft number for a wide receiver, um, and this is going to surprise you because the you know the number one wide receiver coming out in the draft next year is not an Alabama wide receiver. <laughs> Isn't that strange? Um, the number one receiver they got on the board this year is from Penn State, Jahan Dotson. And I tell you what, I I watched a couple Penn State games, and this guy shows up all over the screen. The quarterback from Penn State, I mean, your wide receiver, you know, Jahan Dotson is going to make, <laughs> he's going to make, you know, Sean Clifford, uh, you know, a top five quarterback because I tell you what, Jahan Dotson, this kid has skills. So look here. 
you get a chance to check out a Penn State game, why don't you, you know, go ahead and tune in and check out number five, Jahan Dotson for Penn State. But um, check it, guys. Hey, I'm going to wrap this up for now. Um, like I said, I'm going to start posting on um, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, after they release the top 25. And um, check it. I also want to give you guys my, my Twitter handle. Um, it's OG Big Homie. I'll type it on the bottom of the screen down here. Um, you know, if you guys want to reach out, you know, send me some questions, some, you know, some topics, things like that. I'm not glad, to, you know, glad to get at them for you. All right. That's all I got for the now. You know, that's all I got for the day, folks. So check it. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.